Hello, good evening everybody. It's Mary with Stamps and Lingers and it is Sunday night and if I've done my math correctly it is 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, I kind of like this uh, getting getting to do this at about 5 o'clock on my local time although I have to admit I am not quite transitioned over to Pacific Time yet so um, I'm still struggling. I fall asleep at you know the butt crack of dinner time and wake up at the butt crack of dawn in the morning. So let's see if we've got anybody on. There's Cindy. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Looks like I've got some folks. I appreciate you joining me tonight. I'm sorry for the late notice. I, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking this morning. Apparently I wasn't thinking this morning very well. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little disconnected from everything right now. So Give me a second and it'll be time to go on my cruise and then I'll be completely borktified. Hey, Nancy and Karen and Jean and Mary. How are you? Hey, Karen. Hi, Shirley. Glad you could join me. I'm sorry for the late notice this morning. Hi, Kathy from South Carolina. I appreciate you joining. And Pat. Yeah. Hello, Mary from Washington. I'm headed your direction in less than a month now. Yay! Hi, Lori. Hi, Susan. Glad to see you. And I don't know if you got my email, but I do have you down for a slot in the next host club. Thank you so much. Hi, Rosie. Appreciate you joining. Oh, it's chilly up there, eh? Hi, Marianne. How are you tonight? I'm glad y'all could join me. I appreciate it. So we will go ahead and get started. Hi, Paula. How are you? Hi, Jean. Uh, yes, happy birthday, Finney. I talked to my husband, and he and Finn had gone to Tractor Supply today. I don't know if he bought him a special birthday treat you know if his mother was there he would have but I kept hearing Wayne say what have you got what have you got put that down put that down so apparently Finn was trying to get his own birthday treats hi Jerry hi Brooke hi Barbara glad you could join appreciate that very much all right let us go ahead and get started we are going to be making this card this is what I gave you the sneak peek of this morning and it uses, well, I'll show you the inside, very plain on the inside. It uses the new Floral Frames Bundle. This is a really cool stamp set. I like it a lot. And it is bundled with the Foliage Frame Framelits dies. Say that four or five times fast. Hi, Sharon. Glad you could join. Hey, Amy. Appreciate you making it. Um, hey, Sharon from New Mexico. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. Hi, Carol. Sweltering Missouri. Yeah, my husband says it's pretty hot in Georgia. So anyway, there's a couple of different cute framelits in this set. Um, we are primarily using this one and a couple of the leaves. I don't know if you figured it out about me, but I love leaf framelits and leaf punches. I really like to put leaves on things. It fits with my collage mentality, I guess. So we're going to use the stamp and the die set tonight. I'm going to set this aside and we'll get cracking, shall we? Now I've already done some card cutting because my big shot is way over there on the other side of the hotel room. Uh, you know, 300 square feet and I can manage to spread out across all of it. Hi Fran. Yeah, Wayne said it was nasty there. So hi Janet. Hi Carol. Oh, already said hi. Sorry Carol. All right, so let's show you what we've got. These will be on my uh, website tomorrow, so you don't need to worry necessarily about the card cuts. Um, I have a piece of the uh, Petal Promenade stamp uh, paper, which if you haven't seen it yet, is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paper. This is actually one of the more subtle designs, this uh, kind of Carrera marble with Blushing Bride running through it. Some of the uh, foliage, uh, the flower designs in there are absolutely spectacularly beautiful. Um, so we've got that, and then I've matted everything on Blushing Bride. I've already stamped in Blushing Bride the sentiment from the stamp set and cut it out with a stitched shapes framelit. And then I used the Starburst punch to cut a mat for that sentiment. Now, this... Oh, now let's see. Somewhere around here I have another framelit. Where did it go? I've got one in soft seafoam somewhere. Or I don't and I've lost it. Hang on, people. I have to have two of these. Just a minute. Yes, you need it. All right. 
Sorry about that. I have cut two of the the main framelit die from the, the set. One is in shaded spruce and one in soft sea foam. And then I cut out some leaves with, out of uh, Whisper White with the two with two of the dies. There's actually three leaf dies, but I've only used two of them for this card. So let's set those aside and get cracking. Let's get cracking. Release the cracking. All right. So to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. Hmm. Good Lord. Hang on, it takes me a second to get going. So this is the big, gorgeous stamp in the uh, floral frame set. And what we're gonna do is heat emboss this in white on this piece of the petal promenade. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a quick rub. Yes, Karen, those are beautiful. Uh, the two, I love shaded spruce. It's one of my favorite new colors, absolutely. Hi, Marilyn, welcome. Where, whereabouts in Georgia are you, Marilyn? All right, so I'm just inking this up with Versamark, and I'm gonna kind of eyeball it up here, kind of towards the top and the middle of my DSP, and hold it a second, and while I'm doing that, I will get my Versamark gone. I'm not saying that I have ever shaken off embossing powder or blown it off and gotten it all in my Versamark pad, but yeah, I so have done that. So I got to try to keep it closed up. All right. And then we're just going to sprinkle on some white Stampin' Emboss powder. See, look at the back of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Those cabbage. It's just beautiful. All right. But a little too much for this card, so it has to be down. Set that aside and give it a little blow. My husband is becoming quite the stampin' person beside, on top of cutting shares with me the other day. Um, he called me in a bit of a panic and he said, do you have a second heat thing? Have you got a second heat thing? And I'm like, um, well, yeah. He said, there's one in the bedroom, you know. I said, yeah, that's my old one. I've got my Stampin' Up one. He's like, oh, okay, I was worried you wouldn't have your heat tool and I knew you were gonna need it. <laughs> so he's becoming quite the, uh, quite the supporting demonstrator. Guys, guess what we did today? Today I checked in for the cruise. <laughs> I gave him my passport. We actually have both our passports. We have numbers. We are legit, man. We are ready to rock and roll. I even told him when I was going to be there and when I was going to leave. All right. So that got all pretty. The magic of heat embossing. Opinion of the new chamois. Um, well, I don't have it. We, we used it at the onstage and... I didn't love it enough to buy it. I like my uh, my chamois that I have had now for several months. And so um, I don't know if anybody out there has a different opinion, but I probably will not buy the new chamois. So there's that. All right, so this is cooled off. And now all we're doing is some layering. And first we'll do a little bit of dry fitting. I'm gonna start with my white leaves. And just going to see how they look. I kind of bent my grid paper here. The fun thing about collages is that every single one doesn't have to be identical to the prototype, right? Now, I don't mind if it overlaps a little bit off of the DSP, but not too far. It will be, it will get itself damaged. And then we're going to put this like so. And then this one, we're gonna put like that. And then this will be like this. Okay, perfecto, perfecto, ah. Hmm. So you know what happened there. I have a little bit of glue. Uh, well, 
little drops in the case to keep the chamois from getting smelly. Ah, that's a good idea. So do you have the Stampin' Up, the Stampin' Up chamois, or do you have a different kind of chamois, Sue? Uh, Lenny, I'm so excited about the cruise, I can't even begin to tell you. It's even, my excitement is even overcoming how much I like, dislike leaving a TDY in the middle of it. Um, leaving here makes life much harder. I have to start thinking about when I don't need to buy frozen meals anymore and when I need to think about packing everything up to leave. But it will be so worth it. I can't wait. And we're going ahead of time. We're leaving um, Georgia on the 16th, I think, whatever that Monday is. Wayne and I are going early. And we have a reservation at a place called the John Wayne Waterfront Resort in Squim, Washington. And they have cabins that are right by the, the Puget Sound there. And we're gonna spend a few days letting Mary get Squim, Washington out of her system and doing the sightseeing touristy thing. The only bad part is that the Lavender Festival that is every year there happens the weekend that we get on the ship. So we won't see the Lavender Festival, but I'm pretty sure we'll find a spot that has some lavender stuff. Hi, Patricia, nice to see you. Sue, do you like this, the Stampin' Up chamois? That's the question, the question, since you are one of the peoples on here that has it. That's the question. All right, so this one, this first one, I'm going to put down with liquid glue. And we'll just put some on the back and on some of these little leafies, leafies, some leafies. All right. Okay, now the next layer, I popped up with dimensionals because I love dimensionals. You probably have figured that out. All right, good, good to know, Sue. So Sharon, there is another opinion about the Stampin' Chamois. Sue likes hers, so I think that's a pretty, pretty good recommendation. I probably would have bought it if I didn't already have the one I've got. So, all right, now I'm just using some mini dimensionals on a few of these leaves out here just to give the, the die some support. Because I like supported dies, don't you? Of course, everybody likes a good supported die. You think the SU chamois gets a little deeper into the crevices? Oh, of the, uh, than the, than the thinner one. Ah, good point. All right, so that's probably plenty of dimensionals. Oh, that one kind of came off there, didn't it? Uh, just wanted to be sure y'all who aren't Stampin' Up! demonstrators saw that my uh, online host club, I've got some openings for the clubs starting in July. So if you've got a long list, and your list includes some of the host exclusive stamps, which you buy with Stampin' Rewards, uh, an online host club might just be a really good way to get you some extra goodies. And also, um, now what I did here, see, can you see what I did? Do you see how on this, this bottom die is oriented that way? I turned it, this top one, 180 just to kind of break up those foliage thingy boobers a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop it right over the top. A little bit more offset than that. Like that. And I'm just kind of trying to make sure that all of the, the edges kind of line up as, as thusly suchly, okay? All right, now I'm gonna use some liquid glue and adhere my sentiment to my Starburst Punch mat. Hey Sue, thank you for joining. Ah, Karen, you have found that you don't think they're as thick, huh? Okay. I haven't noticed enough of a, 
enough of a disconnect to see a problem with it, but you could be right. All right, so once I have that on there, I'm going to put um, some dimensionals on the back, like so, and then use those dimensionals to wind some gold metallic thread. Around and around. And there's nothing very scientific about this. It's just however much you like. The more you like, the more you should wind. If you like less, I would suggest winding less. All right. Get back there. Get back there, you silly goose. You silly goose. So one of my big uh, things that I like to do when I'm TDY is I take my laundry to be laundried. And so I gotta go, once I'm done here, I have to go pick it up all clean and done and I didn't have to do it or sit and wait for the stupid laundry machine to get open in the hotel. Try to collect quarters. It's just kind of nice to go and drop it off in the morning and go back and get it in the evening. Okay, one more. I'm going to do another loop. One more loop right about there. Right about there. And then we're going to cut that off, unstick myself from the dimensional. Okay, put that aside. And then we'll pick this up. And it doesn't really matter if it's perfect, because perfect is, you know, perfect is the enemy of good enough. Did you know that? Okay, and we're just going to center that right there like so. Okay. And then all that is left is a little more icing on the cake. Kitty Y. Temporary duty. That's old military standoff, leftover military word. It's uh, the military version of a business trip. So that's what I'm on now is a business trip. Just sent a gem flying. Wilbur, you know what? I don't know what's going on with Wilbur. Wilbur has disappeared. But I did find out that apparently somebody around the corner had a piece of property and he had he had his um he had pigs like 10 pigs wilburish pigs and he sold the place and so he just let the pigs loose so i think that's what where wilbur came from and i suspect that the group there was like 10 of them apparently and i think they've all kind of gotten together probably behind us so I don't know. Wayne hasn't said he's been back, and I know that Wayne looks for him, even though he, he kept saying he didn't want a pig. He, he's been looking for him. I know he has. So these are some petal pink rhinestone gems, and I'm just putting a couple of three of them around. I like these diamondy shaped ones. So I'm putting those like that. And that, I know. I don't understand people at all. Sue, I do not understand people at all. But maybe God will explain it to me when I get there. And now I have some pink Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. And I'm just putting a few of those around. Kind of nestled into the leaves. And then I'm going to put one more. Oh, no mas. Right there. All right. Now, we'll use a little liquid glue and put that onto my Blushing Bride mat, and that will do it for the card front. Where did you go? Hi, Aaliyah, how are you today? You can see that I, um, especially when I'm away on business, I try to conserve cardstock as much as possible since I don't, I can't just turn around and access unlimited stacks of cardstock like I can at home. I try to make it so that my suitcase doesn't weigh 4,000 pounds. All right, and then we'll just put that on its mat and we'll be done 
with the card front. All right, there we go. All right, now we'll let that set for just a half a second while we play on the inside lid. Okay, now all I'm gonna do for the inside, I'll just remind you right quick, is just do a little stamping of some of the images from the pretty little floral frame stamp set. So first off, in Blushing Bride, I'm going to add the, um, this is the little trio flower. And we're gonna do down in the corner here. And while I've got it inked up, we'll do it in the corner of the envelope as well. beautifully but that's okay and then I'm gonna do the little tiny leaf with some shaded spruce and I'm just gonna wing it here and hope that it kind of looks okay okay there's the envelope and then we'll add that to the inner liner as well And then I'll clean that off. And we're gonna do it again in some shaded spruce. I know this is shaded spruce. We've already done it in shaded spruce, so we're going to do it in soft sea foam. Good on you, Sue. It's a good idea. I always think about it right after I didn't do it. Okay, and now this is just shaded spruce and I'm just gonna set it next to Oh my goodness, how many times am I gonna say that soft sea foam, foam is shaded spruce? It is not. You know what color it is. Don't mind me. Jeez. All right, and then we'll add that also in soft sea foam to the envelope flap. Like that. And set this aside. Yeah, the new, the new cases are really nice. I absolutely intend to get all of the new cases for my colors. And you guys, this new ink formula is amazing. It is so nice, especially if you're stamping off. I've even noticed now photopolymer stamps are never gonna be perfect, but they are way better, way better with this new um, defomalized formula. They are way better. So yes, you know, they do tell you, you can use the old refill formulation on the new pads, but if you do that, then you're going to um, be diminishing slash removing the defoaming of the new ink formula, and you're gonna like it, I promise you. It is very much better. So my intent is whenever I have some extra stamp and rewards with an order, I'm going to start replacing my ink pads and refills all at the same time. So if I buy a new ink pad, I'm going to buy a new refill, and my old pad and fill will, will go as a donation somewhere. All right, now, you know what I did not do was cut myself a card base, because I'm a giver. So I'm going to pull out a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to, you're going to love them, Karen. We're just going to cut ourselves a card base, four and one quarter by 11. And then we'll score it and fold it at five and a half. discovered if I sing to my tools, they answer better than if I just say, where are you, bone folder? No, not really. Of course, that's really ridiculous. Okay. Now we'll just use a little liquid glue and put this in. Yes, Paula, I have a really nice lady that I send my things to. She and a group of ladies, they make quilts for veterans, and they send the quilts with cards to 
women veterans and injured veterans. And I, I like that I like that particular mission a lot. And so she is the recipient of most of my goodies. There we go. And then we'll pop the card front on with more dimensionals. And look at this. This more <laughs> This afternoon I went, I was in the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I had a stamp and dimensional right in my in my hair. It was like, oh, there was one. <laughs> they go everywhere, these little boogers, don't they? Goodness gracious. All right, let's pop some dimensionals on there. And we are almost done. Almost done skis for tonight. I hope you guys have a good week. Did y'all have a nice Father's Day with the men folk in your family? Wayne went to our neighbors for some dinner. He left Finney at home because there were too many people and too many dogs. So Finney probably spent the afternoon sleeping, which is no hardship for him, under the fan with HBO on and dreaming away. Oh, Wayne told me that last night he must have not gotten the kennel door latched because he got up this morning and Finn was outside of his kennel, laying right right outside of his kennel. So I think he's he's probably trustworthy enough to be on his own. He, I think he must have got up and gone and gotten a drink and then just come back and had him with a little snooze. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is put a piece of this paper that has, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. I'm working on it, Jean. I'm working on it. We're going to use a piece of the marble and put it on the envelope flap. And then I'm going to fix the fact that I managed to get ink all over the paper. Because, see, when you're in ink, when you're in paper sparing mode, you have to be careful about what you do. So we're gonna give that a quick cut, a quick cut. That was the best part about playing with the shares, cutting all that beautiful paper, was to get to see and cut and touch every little piece of paper, because this one in particular, I kept saying, Wayne, Wayne, isn't this beautiful? He's like, well, looks like flowers. I said, I said, yeah, but look at this one. How beautiful is this? Oh, my God, how beautiful is this? He's like, yeah, mirror still looks like flowers. All right, now we're going to doctor this a little bit because I got shaded spruce ink on it, so we're going to make it look like I meant to do that. And we're going to use our little leaf, and we're going to do some. It's not going to completely hide it, but it'll look like I meant to do it, sort of. Oh, and epic fail. Oh, look. Holy moly. Can you believe I got that so perfect like that? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, God. The Stampin' God was watching me right there. All right. And now I will locate my shaded spruce marker. And give that a little fix right there. Done. And that'll be just fine. All right, so there it is, folks. Floral frames, very fun little stamp set um, with beautiful images. I wonder how many of my cards go places with Stampin' Dimensionals all over them. Hey, Christina, thank you for joining. I do have, I do. I'm sure I do somewhere. They're everywhere. You know what it is? It's really, really dry here. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Static cling. I have static cling. All right. So I hope you have added floral frames and the bundled so you save 10%. Foliage frame framelets dies. Lots of fun to be had here. Lots of things that you're going to be able to do with this. So hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I hope I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you so much. Appreciate you spending your time with me. Bye-bye.